Hey. Kim. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do this. Well, you know, thanks for finding those pictures. It could be quite bizarre or alarming when you get an email saying, hey, I found some old photos of yours. Yeah. yeah. Can you take us through that? Well, you showed me the box. I recognized the box right away. And I, you know, I haven't seen it for years. And I, of course, recognized my own handwriting. And I was just like, wow, how, how did that get to you? I just, it was a, so we, we had a farm in Pennsylvania for 27 years and we sold it and then we moved three or four times. But then we decided that we weren't gonna stay in Pennsylvania, we we're gonna to come to Florida. So we ended up coming down here, but we kept the house in Pennsylvania and then COVID hit and we decided to sell it. And we went up for a week and all the stuff from the farm had been put in boxes in the basement. And we just went through and took as much as we could and kind of left stuff that we didn't have to. I mean, I'm really sad about a lot of stuff that got lost. Like there were filing cabinets of all these great, we used to have these treasure hunts and I would write these clues and, and it was just <laughs> really fun. And I think that all got lost. It's really sad. So if you come across any filing cabinets, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I'm so delighted that you found, I mean, it, it's like a miracle that you found them because I was really grateful to find them. I but, have to say you're, uh, you're very organized and very detailed. I was. Now I have all these kids and grandkids. The biggest clue to me was cat bow. And at first I was looking at it as cat bond or car bond. Yeah, I know, I was laughing about that. <laughs> it was my grandfather's um, farm up in Northern New Hampshire. It's way up north past Franconia Notch. And we went, we spent all our summers there as kids and we went up in the winter time. And, and, and then when I went to college, we would go up there and have these great house parties. We'd spend like a week up there with a bunch of kids and trash the place. It was terrible. <laughs> It looked like but a that blast. That picture where, you, where they had the shirts that say New Hampshire is what America was. And Motown was the name of one of the cabins. And we put all the guys that didn't have dates, we put them down there and we called them the Motley Motown Misfits. I haven't seen that in years. It just cracked me up when I saw that. I'm like, oh my God, that's too funny. It's actually tied to room and board situation. Oh yeah, it was really. And it must have been, for that particular house party, there must have been 25 of us. I, I was dating a guy from Princeton and they would all th drive up and pick me up and... Um, in Massachusetts on the way up and it was funny. I initially reached out on Kim's Garden, your, your I guess, gardening business, or is it a business or is it just a... No, I um I write a column for a newspaper down here in Florida for the Palm Beach Daily News. I post my columns there so that people can reference them because a lot of people are, have questions. I have always been interested in gardening and when I came down here, I didn't know anything about the plants. I have a master's in ornamental horticulture. I know all about the plants in New England, but I don't know anything about the plants in Florida. So so that's where you found me in, in that. That's. That's a website that my daughter-in-law set up for me. You get sent this link for this series. You watched yeah. the, f the first five seconds. I imagine you would have seen a picture of yourself pretty quick. What went through, like, what did you think of the series for one? And, and was it? The series was great. And it was cute because I sent it to my kids. I said, they all live down here. And I said, check this out. Because, you know, every time you get anything online, you're afraid that it's some guy, yes. you know, trying to rip you off or something. And yep. my, do my one daughter goes, oh my God, this is the cool thing. And she sent it to all of her siblings and I have four kids and they all came over. We had a big, we put it up on a big screen and everybody watched oh. it. And it was, it was great. <laughs> I love that. So, so obviously they haven't seen those photos before. No, they've never seen them. I don't think so. No. Cause I, you know, I would have taken them and left them in that box and, and then, you know, then you have kids and you start taking pictures of the kids and God, the kids take up all your time. And you got pretty much, I was amazed at how you figured out like Mount Washington was there and it had to be in Maine or Vermont. Or, that was that was pretty good. Oh, <laughs> but the picture where my husband's holding, where Rob's holding the the horse in front of that beautiful Tudor mansion, that was a friend of ours house. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wondering so about that one. we were laughing because he sounded like, like, oh, this guy lives this great life. We're laughing. Yeah, that was a great house. And Pac was, a, that was a guy that lived there. He was a great friend of ours. Oh, um, I, okay. I'm so glad you answered that. Who? So Pac was a person. Mm -hmm. Pac was a Oh, and he's still around. He's larger than life. He's always been larger than life. Pac's 30th birthday was was Pac's birthday. Mm -hmm. Packers in Bloom. Is that a different that's place? His last, his last name was Packer. Okay, so that's so that's his. That was his. That was his family's house, and they had this amazing estate in in outside of Philadelphia. That one picture, I think, where all the cherry trees are blooming and everything. Mm -hmm. We used to go over there, and we had our horses. I kept my horses at my parents' house, and and their property was adjacent to this property. So we would just ride over and, and, and take pictures. <laughs> so. Did you use your own horses for polo? Oh, <laughs> and, uh, and Rob's roommate, um, <laughs> Rob's Harvard roommate was a big polo player. We went out to visit in Virginia. I do not play polo. I just was riding oh. a polo pony. <laughs> and that was hilarious. <laughs> okay. polo. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> you, you looked like a natural, but so I, I, I figured. Could, 
if you can, I mean, I've ridden my whole life. If you can ride, you can, you know, I would probably smash the polo mallet into the pony's leg. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't, yeah, that takes a lot of practice. Do you still own horses today or do you still ride horses? I don't, I don't have any, um, we're down in Florida now and um, there's a lot of riding out in Wellington. We're in Palm Beach. I don't, I don't have any horses, but I have friends with horses and I can ride them if I, if I want to. So that's nice. Catbo was your, you said it was your grandfather's farm. Mm -hmm. From my understanding, he was, he was a pretty notable guy. Oh yes, he was he was pretty cool. <laughs> He's a pretty cool guy. Do you know him? You had a relationship with him? Yeah, I knew him well. He didn't die until I was in college. So, but he had six children. My mother was the youngest. All of his six children had numerous children. And I mean, I grew up with something like 40 cousins, first cousins. Wow. And then he, wow. his, there were a lot of kids up there in the summer. It was, a, it was a pretty great place to spend your summers. Do you still go to that farm or? Yeah, it's still there. We go up. Um, yeah, we still go up. I don't spend the summer there any longer because we go um, to Nantucket now, but my, a lot of my siblings go up and my cousins are lots of cousins we all usually go i try to go up over labor day and have a big family reunion it's just great i saw something that uh did eisenhower go there yes he did he did he okay there. wow he went up there a couple times to visit and um and grampy would make him um what they call it moose milk <laughs> which i think was some concoction of rum and and, and milk and god knows wow. what else eggnog there were some really cute letters from ike and mamie to 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 my grandfather thanking him for the wonderful weekends and I don't, they just were good friends. Wow, that's amazing. At the start, I guess the story was sort of going towards Rob a bit because there was a lot of outdoor photos of him fishing, hunting. How did you and Rob meet? I moved to Boston, which is everybody, you know, when you got out of college, you went to either New York or Boston. I went to Boston and I met him up. I met him up in Boston at a bar, <laughs> you know, one of his roommates from from boarding school was a good friend of mine because we were all poor college kids. We would um, get those coupon booklets. You know, you, you buy one meal, you get the second one for half price yeah. or something like that. So we had like, yeah. we all, once a week, we'd all go out and use our coupons and try to not starve. And he brought Rob along one night. Rob's parents were living in Florida at the time and he'd just come up from Florida in January and we're all pasty white and Rob shows up with a tan. We all thought he was a jerk because he was tan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he was a really good, he's a really good athlete. He was a really good squash player and I wanted to learn how to play squash better. So I, I thought I'd, you know, play squash with him and then we started dating. I mean, he seemed like very stylish in these photos, like even trendy for today's standards. Oh, that's so funny that you thought, because we just, yeah, I mostly wore Gap, you know, pullovers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've created your own large family, it seems. Yeah, we have a big family. We have, I have four kids and, and um, three of them are married and have produced seven grandchildren in the last four years. And, wow. once, and everybody lives right here, so it's really great. They're all they're all like within walking distance, and they all get along, which is so nice too. Everybody's everybody's friends, so it's great. From looking at Kim back then, and having now this life experience, is there something you would say to Kim back then with what you know now? I just say, yeah, just keep keep on plugging it. So it's it all everything did everything worked out, and everything is great and we're very happy down here the garden's beautiful the the living arrangements that we have with our kids you know literally next door to us is fantastic and yeah i guess that's it then i, I really appreciate you you answering these questions i think it's i think it's great i what a great you know thing to reunite people with their with their past as it were i mean I, these pictures brought that memories that i haven't even thought about for so long we really Everybody, the whole family really appreciates um, everything you did. And uh, how's Rob doing these days? He's good. He's um, he was on another call. I was kind of hoping he would swing in. He's he's doing great. Oh, otherwise. good. Well, Kim, thank you so much for opening up, sharing more details with these photos. We'll get these photos back to you. Terrific. I can't can't wait to see him. Yeah. And uh, and I hope we stay in touch. And uh, I'll I'll recommend your show to everybody. I think it's it's really wonderful. Oh, I appreciate it. Maybe that. you'll find some more of my picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how many other boxes are out there. <laughs> Well, thanks. Thanks for taking right. the time. And um, thanks for getting me the pictures back. It's great. Absolutely. Right. Thanks a lot, Kim. All right. Take care. Bye.